cold. Pretty cold. Now we can go. Gravy, cheese, fries. The recipe is simple but far from simplistic. Poutine was invented at some point in the past 50 years or so, somewhere in Quebec, and has been a staple of La Belle Province ever since. But more important than understanding the past of this great meal is figuring out its future. This is one man's journey toward discovering that future. This is one man's attempt at finding that one poutine that is just right in English Canada, where the concept exists but the execution is too often lacking. This is the poutine of poutines. Ryerson, welcome to the first episode of the Poutine of Poutines. Um, I'm starting this week with the first uh, poutine of our series. It's going to be the one in our home court at the Ram in the Rye. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look. It's here, ready to be eaten by myself. There it is. So, on first glance, I mean, looks okay. That's one of the things I look for in a good poutine, like it has to look right. Second thing I look for is uh, quantity. It's never uh, that cheap to begin with, the poutine is. So I figure, you know, if you're going to pay $6 for one, might as well have a lot of it. This one, I must say, brings it with the quantity. Third, third thing, obviously, is the taste, which is what makes or breaks it. I like to, you know, I don't like to go for the cheese curds right away because that kind of gives it all, all out at once. So I, you know, I tease myself a little bit, take one bite with a little bit of cheese curds. Fries, a little crunchy, not a good thing. Mm. A lot of salt, which is all right. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of gravy and it's very thick. And that's the big secret about it, I feel. If uh, a poutine is lacking something, it's good gravy. And that's not a thick gravy. Thick gravy is bad. I wouldn't show, write to my mom in Montreal to tell her about this poutine, but it'll go. I give it three cheese skirts out of, um, you know, three cheese curds out of five, 5.5. 5. 